Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Talentless Podcast. I'm your host, the Talentless Writer. And today, I got some questions to answer. So I asked you guys in a community post on my Talentless Podcast account uh, if there's any questions you want me to answer for future podcasts. And so I'm going to answer some of them. And if you didn't ask a question or you didn't see the community post, then you can just leave uh, a question in the comments of this or go to the community post and write it there. Preferably be, well, prefer what? Preferably, you can just write in the comments section and uh, maybe I'll read it in the next episode. But we got some comments to answer. It's comment time. Let's uh, let's put a theme song for comment time or maybe not. I don't know what the theme song would be. Would it be c- c- comments. I don't know. That sounded kind of racist. I don't <laughs> like fucking. I don't know. That was really weird. That's not the theme song. We're not doing a theme song like that. But we're gonna be reading some comments here. Oh, <clears throat> and I also got a cough. I'm gonna leave these coughs in so you guys can know the coughs. But uh, the first comment is by dress i dressy i six seven eight zero nine eight, and they asked, "Is cereal a soup?" And um, I'm gonna say no. It's not a soup. If you think cereal is a soup, I mean technically. It kind of is, but that's like saying is a hot dog a sandwich. It's not. Just because something is in a bowl with a liquid and something else, like a liquid and a substance, I guess. I don't fucking know. But just because that is taking place doesn't mean that it's automatically a soup. What if soup is a cereal? Huh? You ever think of that? What if, what if that's the, the case? Wait, now I'm thinking, like when you're making chicken noodle soup... Do you put the broth first and then the chicken and noodles? Or do you put the chicken and noodles and then the broth? This is fucking crazy. I just, I just, all right, I got to move on to the next question because I'm going to blow my own mind. Uh, next question by Troy Irvin McCool. How do you say the word gyro? Well, clearly because I'm Greek, I know the, uh, the true way to say it. Or what if I didn't? What if this guy was racist? He just assumed I knew how to say it. And... I really didn't. No, but I don't, um, so people say gyro, right? I say gyro to be honest, but like if I'm talking to a Greek person, I guess it's yido. And I hate when people say that that aren't Greek because they say gyro, gyro. Can I get a gyro? And I want to punch them in the fucking face. So just say gyro, please, for the love of God. Just say gyro because if I hear anybody say gyro, I'm gonna punch them in the face. It's gyro, and um, like bronrecho and gyro or whatever, like that. And I hero. But don't say gyro. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking lose my mind. Just say gyro. I say gyro. If I go to a place I say can I get a gyro? I don't say can I get a can I get a gyro? Or do it well alright now just, just say gyro, alright? That's it. Just say gyro when you fucking go somewhere. But that's that's exactly how you say it, gyro. Uh what the fuck? Lou Man Bay said, Would you rather have penises for fingers or a finger for a penis? Um, well, if I could, if I could pee out the finger, that's my penis. I I would be fine with that. If I could pee and do other stuff penis related. Oh, but then it would have a fingernail on it. Oh my God. I'm skipping this question. Fuck you, Lou Man Bay. Uh, (laughs) I'm just kidding. Don't fuck you. Uh, I don't know. What the fuck does that even mean? (laughs) Next question. We got Jazzer K dot Jazerk dot. I don't, I don't know how to say that, but. Uh, he said, are you planning on becoming a full-time YouTuber? Are you planning on being like a full-on YouTuber? I guess like full-time YouTuber, like doing YouTube, like doing only YouTube. Uh, yeah, that's definitely the plan. I want to be doing only YouTube basically. And obviously like the podcast um, instead of working a regular job, I guess. That's the goal to be to be entertaining people instead of serving them food because serving people food sucks and they they tell you you're an asshole and like oh where's my ranch i was like i gave you the fucking ranch like oh i don't see the ranch i'm like yeah i gave you the fucking ranch uh, if i give you a second ranch then you're gonna do the same shit all right i know you're you're lying to me you saw the ranch you have the ranch in your fucking pocket probably you just want a second ranch for free you stupid motherfucker and so that's not a fun time when that happens and then you know there's there's a lot of stuff in the in the service industry I guess that's what we call the food industry. It just fucking sucks. It's not a it's not a good time, and I've been working there for a long time, and I I don't want to work there anymore. I haven't wanted to work there anymore since the first day I started working there. So, but luckily, uh, YouTube is slowly 
rising up. I'm not really making that much money from it, but eventually, hopefully, once I get like more subscribers or something, um, I can be a full time YouTuber, and that would be really fucking cool. Because then I won't. Because then you know on YouTube, people are happy. They're like, "Oh, I love your videos." Nobody says that to me at my regular job. They're like, "Oh, go fuck yourself." Where's my ranch? So, <laughs> next question by Elias. Tuvadas, I don't know, there's no, uh, don't know, so I don't know where, how to pronounce the last name, but I think it's Tuvadas, or Tuvadas, I don't know. Um, were you ever into any competitive video games? Have you ever wanted to go pro in a video game really badly? Um, probably League of Legends is probably the only one that I've ever really wanted to go pro in. There's, there's not a lot of games that I've played, to be honest, that I think are like pro games. Like I never played StarCraft or um, CSGO. I mean, I played Call of Duty and uh, FIFA. I guess those people play them pro. Actually, FIFA, like, yeah, FIFA people play pro, but not really, I feel like. Or, you no, know, they do, they do. It's just not as big. Like, I feel like Overwatch right now is probably the biggest. Rocket League is fucking pro, too. Like, they have, they have Rocket League on ESPN and shit. That's crazy. And then, obviously, League is, like, one of the biggest ones. Um, but probably League of Legends, but I sucked at League of Legends. I, I suck at every game I played. I, I, it's so weird. Like I played video games my entire life and I still suck at them. Like you would think they tell you like, oh, the 10,000 hour rule, you do something for 10,000 hours and, uh, you'll be, you'll be like the best in the world at it. I'm, I'm sure I played video games way more than 10,000 hours and I still suck at every single fucking video game I play. My friends are all better than me. Um... But yeah, probably League of Legends. I was I haven't played League of Legends probably like four years. But um the last time I played League was like when NAR came out, I think. So that was a long time ago. And the only reason I stopped really playing it, other than I stopped playing a lot of games because there were uh time wasted like yeah, like I didn't want to waste time. Also, if you hear my mouse clicking, it's because I'm playing RuneScape while I'm recording this and I'm doing an AFK. Uh, RuneScape, I don't think you can go pro in that. There's no, there's no pro RuneScape players. But uh, in League, uh, I had to stop playing it because uh, just like getting in the way of um, just time that I needed to work on like YouTube and stuff. So that's why I stopped playing it. But I would never probably get back into it again because there's so much shit that changed. Especially like every year shit changes and I'm just, I would just be so far behind. But if there was any game I would go competitive in, it would probably be League. Uh, next up, we got Dropping Bods. He said, the talentless gamer, and he put a lot of question marks and exclamation points. So I don't know if, if he's asking me to make a account called the talentless gamer where I play games. Uh, I'm assuming that. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I would ever make, like, I, I would kind of want to make video game content. Like, obviously on a second, separate channel, I'll, maybe I'll call it the talentless gamer, but I'm not sure. Cause I want to focus on this stuff. Maybe I would like stream video games. Like there's no one video game I would want to probably play. It would probably just be like random games. Like, uh, I don't know. Like I could record myself playing like some random indie games that are like fun or funny or something. I don't know. Or I could like stream it on Twitch. I don't know, but I'm not sure if I would ever make a gaming channel, but it is in the back of my mind. So, uh, yeah, maybe I would maybe I would do that. Uh what else is next? Steffi said, What are you ninety nine percent sure of? I I don't know. So that means what am I like basically almost confident about, but there's like one percent thing I'm doubting. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what that would be. What am I like almost a hundred percent confident about or sure of, but there's just one percent that I'm not sure about? I guess I don't know, making it big on YouTube, like, I feel like I could make it big on YouTube, but, you know, there's 1% of me that's like, uh, maybe not, maybe you should stop doing YouTube and continue college and be a programmer, or not even college, fuck college, I don't like college, it fucking sucks, just, like, learn, continue self-learning programming and just get a job, and then, I don't know. But I, I really want to be a YouTuber, so I'm going to try to focus on that, try to build up YouTube. And also, when I said fuck college, all right, don't, you don't, I don't want everybody to start saying fuck college because for, for a lot of people, a lot I know a lot of people who really like college 
and uh, it's it's not for me, but there's a lot of people that it is for, um, you know, the old shit like, you know, if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, you got to go to college. That's that's true. So, uh, but for me, I, I, I don't like it at all. It's fucking bullshit. I don't learn shit. I've only taken uh, a couple programming classes in college and I thought like everybody was going to know, like this is the weird thing about programming. Like I feel like everybody who does programming has taught themselves. That's what I thought. And like, so I was going into my college coding classes thinking like everybody would know way more than me. Even though I like had coded for like two years before I ever took any of those classes on my own. And um, so I thought I was gonna be like the idiot in the class. Everybody was gonna be doing like fucking hacking into the mainframe or some shit. But I took like a basic, a basic, wow, I'm fucking having a lisp here. A basic Python class. And um, I never learned Python, but I took that class. Like, I learned Python in the class, but before that, I never learned it. Nobody in that class knew anything about programming. I was like, why the fuck are you learning programming if you don't know anything about it? But, I mean, obviously, that's the point of it. You go to college to learn it. But I was like, I was like a god in that class. Like, I never learned Python, but just because I knew, like, programming fundamentals, I was just, like, knocking every project out, like, mad easy. It was like, I don't know. I, I was just under the assumption that everybody like knew how to program and everybody was just better than me because I, from all the stories you hear about like a lot of programmers, like they start when they're like fucking in first grade. When I was in first grade, I didn't know how to program until I was 16. I think I started teaching myself. So if you are going to school for programming, um, I would highly recommend you start learning shit by yourself. That's definitely uh, important. I feel like a lot of people do that, but apparently when I was in my college classes, nobody knew that. Nobody knew programming outside of school, uh, outside of what they were learning in school. So definitely learn it on your own. You're going to learn so fucking much and be ahead of everybody. So uh, that's my advice, which uh, straight away from the conversation, where the fucking question was, but uh, <clears throat> that's, my, that's my answer, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, next one, we got... Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to say this name. Jury versus Lewis. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I I don't know how to pronounce this name, but they said <coughs> Jure. I don't know. Uh, hey, I'm from Holland. I wonder what you think about Holland and what your favorite thing about it is. By the way, keep it up. Love your videos and podcasts. Um, I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. Hold on, I'm. I'm trying to, I'm going to confirm something really quick. I'm going to confirm something really quick. That's why you hear my, uh, my keyboard. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure that. Is, is Robin Van Persie from Holland? I'm pretty sure he is. I'm pretty uh, so if if he's from Holland, that's my favorite thing about Holland. Is he from? I mean, he's on the Netherlands national team. So yeah, I guess Robin Van Persie is my favorite thing about Holland. I honestly I don't know that much about um, the Netherlands and everything, but uh, when it comes to that, it's RVP. RVP for sure. Who else is? Who else is on the national team? There's a lot of fucking people that are really famous. I gotta look this up. Bro, there's so many people that... Oh yeah, Depay, Dejong, Van Dyke. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking people on this year. Alright, so I guess their they're national football team, national soccer team, whatever. That's my favorite thing about Holland. For sure. I don't. There's really nothing else I really know about it. I'm sorry. I, I I hope you don't think I'm dumb or, I mean I am dumb, but don't take it as an offense. I don't know. I love Holland. Holland's great. I want to go there one day. I don't know what I would do there. I don't know. I'm not a big traveler. I've never really traveled, but uh, it would be cool to go. Next question. Oh my! This person probably. Wait. <clears throat> Next question. Kenny Lopez says. How long have you been drawing for? Um, I know this is like an uh, answer. Hold on. I'm just clicking my uh, my potions in RuneScape. I know this is an answer a lot of 
people who animate and stuff say, but I've been drawing like basically my whole life since as early as I can remember. I haven't drawn like in a long time, like aside from my videos, but that doesn't really count because it's not like really drawing. Like my, my regular art style is completely different from my animation style. It's just if I animated in my regular art style, uh, the videos would take fucking forever to make. And like my main focus with my videos isn't really the art. It's mainly the um, the comedy and like writing. That's what I really want to focus on. Like I want to get these videos out as fast as possible. And like almost because I want to make my videos more like stand up than it is like just listening to someone's story about life or whatever. So like in stand up, people write out their their set and they, they perform it. Right. But for me, what I have to do before I can like basically perform it or like have an audience see it is I write on my set, I record it and then I can't just put it out like that. Just audio. I got to animate it. So that's why I, I want to keep my animation as simple as possible to make because then I could just keep improving my writing and my my comedy, I guess, um, because if I took like fucking a month for a video, then I wouldn't have as much content out there like to keep improving my writing because the writing would take like only a few days or something and then I would spend a fucking month animating and that's, I don't want to be an animator, I want to be a writer. That's the whole point of my channel, it's a talentless writer and um, so that's what I'm mainly going for but in terms of drawing, I've been drawing my whole life, I also did a lot of pixel art when I was younger like in... I think like middle school, I started learning pixel art because of this game called Grawl Online Classic. And that like took over my life for a little bit because that's all I would do. Like after school, I would go home and just start making um, random stuff for the game in pixel art. Because in that game, you could um, you could make like your shields or swords. You could make them yourself. And the game was pixel art. It was like basically Legend of Zelda assets. And you would email them to like the administrators whatever you wanted and then they would put it in the game they would give you like a code that you have to write out and it was really cool because i had like a purpose like <clears throat> if you're just drawing without like a purpose i guess like it's harder to get you to want to draw more like i haven't drawn in a long time like for myself just randomly drawing because there's no reason to like i don't have like a purpose for it like other than like trying to relax or just improve my drawing but if you have like an Instagram page or something like in that case where you could just put your content out there for other people to see, that's going to help you an insane amount, um, 100%. Like even if nobody's like really reading or not reading, uh, looking at your art, if you just have somewhere to put it like DeviantArt or Instagram or something like that, your art, you're going to just want to keep improving your art and making more because you want to see, you want people to see it and put it out there. And that's how I learned to get it to improve with pixel art I guess and also like uh I also did pixel art on my calculator my TI-84 I guess it's called in uh in high school because I didn't really give a shit about classes so I would just always you could do pixel art on the graph like the when you graph there's an option for a pen and I found that out so I would just use my pen and draw random shit on the graph uh, with pixel art and I would like constantly show it to people so that was like my reason for making pixel art so I could show it to people and also because I had nothing else to do in that class like obviously I could have just listened to the teacher and learned but I, I didn't want to do that I didn't want to do that at all so uh, yeah I've been drawing my whole life basically and I just turned into a pixel art rant <laughs> uh, next do you actually look like your character in real life that'd be awesome also talk more about coffee or coffee whatever uh, this is by randumps and, um, not, I mean, this is, I, I don't think anybody looks like my character in real life. Like even my friends, like I try to draw them, like how they look in real life, but they don't look like that. But, uh, my character in real life, I mean, my character, in real life, my character was mainly like the hairstyle is mainly what my hairstyle looked like when I was younger. Cause my hair was like down like that. It was like really shitty. Um, it didn't look exactly like that. Like it wasn't fucking square like that. And my face wasn't square. My face is more like an egg shape, I guess, like an oval. You know, I don't have a fucking... There's people with, like, dead-ass square faces. <clears throat> but that's that's not me. I'm not one of those people. Uh, I have a very... I have no jawline at all. I just look, like, very 
egg shaped, I guess. I don't know. But um, yeah, so in that aspect, I'm not square faced. And also my hair no longer looks like that, but it did look like that. Like my first video ever in that style, I think was my green eggs and ham video. So like that was when I was a kid and my hair looked like that. But uh, now it doesn't look like that anymore. So I'm sorry for everybody, but I just kept that hairstyle going because that was just like a memorable, memorable hairstyle, I guess, for my character. And I don't look like my character in real life. And I also wear glasses. So and my character doesn't wear glasses. So that's also uh, different. Except, actually, I didn't wear glasses like all throughout my life, basically. Unless I needed them in class, like to read the board. But other than that, I never had my glasses on. So it is accurate. I never really wore glasses until maybe like college I started wearing them. But I also had contact lenses. So I don't wear them that much. Until recently because, you know, contacts started to bother my eyes like after wearing them too long. So I've been wearing glasses a lot. So in that sense, my character doesn't look like me. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, let's move. <clears throat> Whoa, what the fuck was that? What happened to my voice right there? Let's move on. Oh, yeah. Also talk more about coffee. You, I think he just wants me to say or she, whoever this person is, they just want me to say coffee over and over again. So coffee. Um, I actually stopped drinking coffee, too. I just, I'm trying to get off of caffeine entirely because, you know, when I don't drink it, it just, I just feel so tired and fucks me up. And also like, even when I do drink it, like uh, when you crash after, I just feel so tired. So I've, for the past, I think like two weeks, I've been off any caffeine. Wait, does chocolate have caffeine? If chocolate has caffeine, then I'm wrong. But uh, not, I don't know. I'm I'm really stupid, but uh, no, I've been off coffee for about two weeks and I just want to keep that going and also energy drinks I haven't drank an energy drink in two weeks either I think the last one I drank was Coca-Cola energy so that way I could try it and it was pretty fucking gross uh next question is math related to science I mean yeah I I, I guess right like physics oh there's also by Steffi did I say that Steffi asked is math related related to science yeah, like physics is all about fucking math, basically. Like when I took, I remember when I took physics class, it was just all fucking equations and shit. So yeah, it is. And then Steffi asked two more fucking questions because he wants to take up the whole whole comment section. No, I'm kidding. But he said, uh, "When is Young Handsome's album coming out?" I'm not sure. I gotta ask him. Uh, probably not anytime soon. But maybe he'll surprise us. Maybe he's working on it secretly. And uh, Miguel Garcia said, "Well, little sloppy." Did I say slappy? Will Lil Sloppy Nutsack make a song? Uh, I want to make a song, but um, I don't know. Like, I I really wanted to make a song, but I was like, I don't know if people are going to like it, like, if I put it out. Obviously, it's not going to be like, I would put out a main video and then, like, a song between, like, my main videos. It wouldn't be, like, the main video for the week. Or maybe it would, depending how long, like, it would take, because I would make, like, a animated music video for it. But, um... Uh, I don't know, I just haven't had time to like mess around with beats and stuff in a while. So I'm not sure when I'm going to make a song. But I really, that is on my list of things to do. I do want to make a song for as little Sloppy Nutsack. And maybe you'll see it in the near future. I don't know. Maybe I, this this comment inspired me to actually want to make it more. So maybe I'll make it. I'll see. Uh, Henry Fayol. Wait, what? Fayol? <laughs> I'm just I'm fucking butchering names out here. Said, what does it feel like to be the top most best number one podcast of all time? You know, it feels fucking great. It's awesome being the best podcast ever. And you know, all these people, you know, I go outside, people don't stop coming up to me like, oh my god, you're the talentless writer, you have the talentless podcast. I'm like, yeah, I am. I I, I know you love my stuff. They're like, oh, let me take a picture, please. Uh, take my child. I don't want my child. I want you to have my child. I'm like, oh, I don't need your child. I got, I have no children. I don't want your child. Like, no, I want my child to be raised by you to be also the best podcast in the world. And then I raise their children and they go on to make their own podcast and I take commission from their children's podcast. And uh, it's, you know, it's great having the best podcast ever. It's a really fun time. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Henry. Next, Brady Cohen. Can you talk about how you survived high school? Um, I'm not too sure how I survived high school. Uh, it was really fucking bad. Not a, not a fun time. I mean, there were there were good times in high school, to be honest. There were some good times. But for the most part, like especially freshman year, when I didn't know anybody really, I was just like always... I never really talked to anybody. And uh, 
luckily I made one of my first friends like very early into the year, like very early, like maybe one of the first, like the first week. Um, I made a friend because of KSI because we were. I, I talked about this in another podcast, I think, but uh, we were playing basketball in gym, and somebody scored a basket, and I yelled out MNEK because that's what KSI would always yell out when he was playing as MNEK, and I was just a idiot. And I, I just like to yell out random references that nobody knows. But then one kid came up to me and said, he was like, oh, what did you just say? And I said, uh, nothing. He was like, no, what did you just say? I was like, MNEK. He's like, oh, that's from KSI, right? And I was like, yeah. And then uh, we became friends after that. And we started talking about KSI and soccer and we would play soccer together. Um, and basically, the weird thing about high school is a lot, of, mainly all of my high school friends, except for a couple, were people I knew from middle school. But I just never really talked to them as much in middle school. But then once it, once we were in high school, we got very close. And they're still my friends to this day. Or maybe they're not. I don't know I don't know if they would consider me my friends. But yeah, like all those people that I had on my podcast that um, from my friend group, like uh, Frank, the two Anthonys, Lottie, all those people, they were, um, most of them were in my middle school. But we never really talked as much as we did in high school. That's when we got mainly close. Uh, but surviving it in that as in the aspect of surviving high school, I mean, I, I guess just try to get a close group of friends, um, and just stick stick it through. I don't know, like I I didn't really survive high school. I was a fucking loser in high school. I just I would go to school, I would go home, play league, or RuneScape, and um, then restart my day until. Uh, well, senior year was the fucking worst because senior year, after school, I would go work. I was working like 60 hours a day. I mean, not a day, holy shit, 60 hours a week. And then uh, aside from that, I was also teaching myself how to program on my own uh, in senior year. So I got like no sleep. I was drinking two cans of Monster Energy a day. It was not, it was like one of the worst times of my life. It was just, I was just, it, it was, it was a shitty time, but just my advice for getting through high school is just find a close group of friends that you can talk to and that, you know, fuck with you. And, uh, you know, just stick with them. Obviously, try to make as many friends as you can, but, you know, it's not it's not easy to make friends. Um, but just find at least one person that you can, like, stick with and just try to try to get those through those four years. Uh, next question. Gennaro E... Ben Alonso, I don't know if I said that right either. Do you like scary movies? I don't like scary movies at all. I fucking hate them. I don't know why people watch scary movies. Um, they say it's because of the adrenaline, I guess, that they get from it. But when I watch a movie, I'm going to fucking be not scared. I don't like being scared. I don't know. I, why would someone like the feeling of being scared? That's like the one of the worst feelings ever. You just It just pisses me off. I like watching comedies. Or like action movie stuff where like I feel happy or like excited when I watch them. I don't want to watch fucking whatever the scary movie out right now is where I, I go into the movie theater. I pay fucking money to not have a good time. And then I go home after that. Not not even just in the movie I'm scared. Then I go home and I think everybody's trying to kill me or the doll is going to fucking murder me. That's no. Why Why would I want that? That's also why I don't like haunted houses. I feel I, I hate haunted houses so much. They're the fucking worst. I've been in a couple of haunted houses and uh, I didn't enjoy them half the time. It was, if it was like one of those haunted houses where uh, you sit in a cart and it brings you along the, I guess, the path, I would just have my eyes closed the entire time. But I don't, I've only been in one of those like walking haunted houses once and it wasn't even like a real haunted house. It was just like for some fair. Where like some kids just made it like made like a makeshift haunted house. Um, I've never been to like one of those really big ones that are like professional haunted houses, where like they have people like in crazy ass costumes and chainsaws and shit. I've never been in one of those, and I never really want to go in one of those because it's just fucking. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to get scared? I want to go. I'll go on a fucking regular ride. Like why would I go on a haunted house when I could go on like on a roller coaster or something else or just play fucking. Throw the ball at those clowns or whatever those games that they have at carnivals. Why would I do? Why would I go to a haunted house? It's instead of doing that. That's fucking dumb. It's, it's dumb. 
<clears throat> but I don't know. If you like haunted houses, good for you. Just I, I don't want to fucking see them. <laughs> don't show them to me. Except except for um scary like scary movies that aren't like scary. They're more like um I don't know what the word for it is called, but like like Freddy Krueger and Jason like slash movies. I guess those I don't mind. Like those are kind of cool. Or like Saw, I guess. But like scary movies, I guess. I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of at all. I don't like them. So next question. Uh, Christian Lee says, where do you see your channel in a year? And do you have any plans to do any other kind of videos? Like some IRL videos. Uh, so in a year, hopefully maybe I'll be a full-time YouTuber. So uh, that'll be awesome. But for my channel wise, hopefully I'll get at least a million subscribers by then. I mean, in the past year alone, like when is I don't know when this is going up, but March 6th of last year, I had 800 subscribers. And then now it's like, I'm recording this on um, February 27th <clears throat> and I have 174,000 subscribers. So uh, clearly I've grown a lot in that year. Um, before that, like the year before, it was like from zero to 800. I think it took a year and a half to get from zero to 800 subscribers. And then it took a year after that to get um, to 174,000 from 800. So clearly there's like exponential growth happening. Um, and obviously before I had zero subscribers on this channel, I had like six other channels. So that was another two years of YouTube. So I've been doing YouTube for four years, actually. In March, it's going to be four years of doing YouTube. And uh, hopefully... By the end of this year, I'll have at least a million subscribers. I made a tweet that I'm going to have 5 million subscribers. I'm going I'm to I'm try to work towards that. 5 million subscribers by the end of this year. And uh, do you have any plans to do any IRL videos? Uh, actually, I kind of do want to do IRL skits and videos and stuff like that. Um, but obviously that happens. I'm not sure when I want to do that. Because for right now, I, I like doing the animations. But um, I don't know. Eventually, I probably do want to do some... IRL stuff because I have some ideas, but I just don't know when. Also, I don't have a camera. Like I have my phone camera, but my phone camera is garbage. And I feel like IRL stuff is like way more gear needed. Like for for my videos, all I need is my microphone and then like my drawing tablet and uh, Adobe Animate. So I just use all that. So it's easy to do. But for IRL videos, like I need other people probably. I mean, I could no. There's stuff I could do by myself, but. Like, if I have other people in the skit, like, I got to schedule time for them because that way we can record together. Then I need someone to re hold the camera, and then I need a camera. And then I need, like, uh, some mic, like, strapped to my fucking chest or strapped to everybody's chest that is part of it. Like, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Um, So that's probably, like, the main reason why I don't want to do IRL videos yet. But maybe I, I might do that. Unless... Like, I could do, like, IRL commentary videos, but I'm not... I don't really like making those. Like, I made a couple... Like, the 5 Minute Crafts animated uh, commentary video I made, I like that. But I made some commentary videos, like, in past channels. And I just wasn't really that comfortable in front of the camera. But, I don't know, maybe... Maybe I just gotta get more comfortable in front of the channel. In front of the camera. But for now, uh, I don't really have any plans for IRL videos. Uh, Sky Gamer asked, When was the last time you've watched porn? Uh, yesterday. Jordy asked, how do you spell the word gyro? Uh, you spelled it correct. Um, Dancing Jazzy asked, do you dream of being on Scribble Showdowns with other animators? And does your character wear blue because that's your favorite color? Uh, so to answer the second question, yeah, blue is my favorite color. So that's why they wear it. Um, although when I was a kid, orange was my favorite color. But it slowly grew to be blue. And uh, do you dream of being on Scribble Showdowns? I mean, Scribble Showdown. I haven't really. I don't really know what they do exactly. Like if it's like Pictionary or whatever. But it seems pretty fun. I guess it would be cool to be on it. But uh, it's not a dream I have. But it would be cool. Like I like all those people that are on it. Um, I watch the videos. I'm a fan of like the odd ones out. Jaden, Domix, and uh, who who's the last one? Rubber, Ninja. I think that's his name. And obviously, Ego Raptor hosts it. Uh, so that would be, I guess it would be cool to be on it, but, uh, if they don't put me on it, then I don't really give a shit. <laughs> so yeah, that's the answer to that. 
Daddy Doug asked, what equipment do you use for animation? I use um, a Blue Yeti microphone to record, but before that I used a Blue Snowball. And then uh, to draw, I draw on a Wacom Intuos uh, Pro Small tablet, which um, is pretty expensive. Like you don't need that one. You can just get any drawing tablet. I think the tablet cost me like 250 but um, I got that one because I was saving up money for a while. So I was like, I, I want to get this tablet. And um, what was what's the last? Oh yeah, I use Adobe Animate CC. It's part of the Adobe Suite. Uh, I pay for the whole Adobe Suite. Like I pay, I record my audio through Adobe Audition, but you don't need to do that. I just use Adobe Audition because I already pay for it with the Adobe Suite and I don't want it to go to waste. But you could use any recording software like, um, what's the free one? Audacity. Yeah, you could use Audacity to record. They're all the same shit. I just use Audition, Adobe Audition because it's part of what I'm already paying for. And yeah, that's basically uh, everything I use for animation. Uh, little Riley14 asks, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Uh, that's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Red Pineapple Juice asked, what's your favorite character in Rick and Morty? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have a favorite character. Who's my favorite character in Rick and Morty? I don't know. I mean, I have a Mr. Meeseeks like pop toy, but I don't know if Mr. Meeseeks isn't really my favorite character. I guess my favorite character would be like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Noob Noob or Mr. Poopy Butthole. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe one of those. But I can't really think of a favorite character, to be honest. I I, I like all them, I like them all equally. No, actually, no, that's not true. I don't like a lot of characters in Rick and Morty. But like their characters, like I love the show, but yeah. Um, not a cult asked, are you my dad? I am not your dad. Uh, Lazone asked, what sports did you play as a kid? I played mainly uh, soccer. I was a left wing in soccer as a kid. And uh, I played baseball for a year, Little League Baseball. I fucking sucked at it, and my coach hated me because I was so bad at it. Me and my brother played. Maybe I'll make a video about that probably soon. Not soon, but I, I don't know. I'll, I'm definitely going to make a video about Little League Baseball. I already made a video about Little League Soccer. And um, I did Taekwondo for a year. I don't know if you count that as a sport. Um, and what else? Oh, and I did flag football for a year, and I was also terrible at that. I was, I was bad. I'm bad at every sport. I'm bad at every video game. Um, I don't know. I gotta find something that I'm good at. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe podcasts. I don't know if I'm, I'm not. I don't know. But yeah, I played soccer, uh, flag football. Although flag football wasn't as a kid. I was like 16 when I played flag football, and um, and uh, baseball is what I played as a kid too. Uh, satire asks, one language you'd like to master? Uh, I don't know. Like, there's no language, like, I'm actively, actively trying to learn, or, like, I really want to learn, because, you know, it takes a long time to learn a language, but if I could just be given any language, like, automatically to understand, it would probably be, like, Mandarin, because there's a lot of, um, Chinese people in the world, and that would be extremely helpful to have, and also, if I spoke Mandarin... I could, uh, or like any, to be honest, any like like any popular language that like doesn't fit my skin color, I guess. Like people see me and I'm white, and they wouldn't expect me to speak Mandarin um, fluently, right? So I can make like YouTube videos where I go up to Chinese people and I just start speaking Mandarin out of nowhere, and I record them. And they're like, "Oh, what the fuck? The white boy knows how to speak Mandarin?" And like, "Yeah, I know how to speak Mandarin." So. uh that's uh, that's probably what I would do. I would, I would probably speak Mandarin. That'd be cool. I mean, I know a lot of Chinese people, and if I just started speaking the Mandarin out of nowhere, they'd be like, "What the fuck? This Greek kid knows how to speak Mandarin? That's crazy." And also, if people are talking shit about me, I'll know, and I won't tell them that I know. I'm just gonna secretly know. I don't know, but yeah, that's that's probably the one language I would like to learn. I would like to master. Um. The scripted twenty seven asks, "Would you rather be able to turn into a sexy girl whenever you want, or have to watch that stops, or or have a watch that stops time and starts it whenever you want?" Um, 
I mean, I would rather fucking have the watch that stops time and starts it whenever I want. Why the fuck would I want to randomly become a sexy girl for no reason? What, what What's the point of that? That makes no sense. Why would I just become... That's, I mean, I'm sure there's advantages to it, but that's just like, why would I become a sexy girl or a sexy anything where I could stop fucking time? Are you kidding me? I mean, I don't know how I could reverse it, but if I could just stop time, bro, why the fuck would I choose being a sexy girl? Come on, man. You didn't think about this question too much. Or maybe you did. I don't know. Uh, Sergeant Serial said, can you do a flip? I can't do a flip. Clay228 said, will you marry me? P.S. I'm over 18. I will not marry you. I'm sorry. I, I know you might be over 18, but I don't care. I don't know who, who you are. Who the fuck are you first? Why don't we have a conversation first? You can't just you can't just start off first time I see you. Will you marry me? That's you can't, That's not how it works. Uh, Noah CXDC said, What ethnicity has the best food other than Greek? Like American, Mexican, Chinese. Also, can you say fuck off William because just fuck off William? I mean, technically, I just said it. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, what ethnicity has the best food other than Greek? I don't know. Uh, Italian? Mexican, I guess. I would probably go for Italian and Mexican have the best foods. I'm trying to think of. Nah, yeah, that's those are probably my answers. Italian food and Mexican food. And, you know, try, all right, I, can't, I can't just throw every fucking ethnicity's food in there, but... Because <laughs> I was about to say Chinese food too, but... Uh, let's stick with Italian and Mexican. Um, what's your favorite Greek word? I don't know. What is my favorite Greek word? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite Greek word. Sorry for these clicks. I gotta, I gotta drink my potion so I can AFK in RuneScape. Um, oh yeah, that, did I say it was by Mr. Midnight? Yeah, Mr. Midnight asked me that question. What's your favorite Greek word? I don't, I don't really have one. Um... Sebastian Juenas asked, are your videos inspired by Bruce Du? And uh, yeah, it was, Bruce Du is a huge inspiration for my videos uh, from, I guess, the art style to the comedy itself. Like, I'm not trying to copy Bruce Du, obviously, but my first inspiration ever for like really wanting to do YouTube was uh, Grade A Under A. And uh, that's like basically what my videos looked like in the beginning, like for my first channel. They're very like stick figurey with black and white uh, colors only. And uh, also, there's a channel that existed back in the day, but uh, they've since deleted their channel. They had, I think, 50,000 subscribers before they ended it, but it was called Based on a Crude Story. And that was also a really big inspiration for me. Those were my big inspirations for YouTube before I even found out about Bruce Du. Um, but then, I think when I found out about Bruce Du, I just like realized... I could make videos where like, I could still make like story time videos, but I could make them more like myself. Like I could, I could be myself and make videos that people found funny because I, for the longest time I was like, oh, I can't like be myself. I gotta like, you know, be more family friendly and um, I guess do like what YouTube wants. And that's what I thought for the longest time. But then... With, I mean, even though Grade A Under A was definitely not like family friendly and shit, but I don't know. I just felt like if I wanted to be like other animators, like the odd ones out and stuff, I had to be like more family friendly and appeal to like a broad range of people. But then I saw Bruce do was able to gain success just by being himself. And, you know, I'm not saying animators aren't their self. I'm sure like all those animators that are family friendly, they're being themselves. But with Bruce do, I was like, you could be successful on YouTube and just say whatever fuck you want in the animation community. And uh, so that's mainly why I started to... Uh, that's... I don't know. I guess... What's the fucking word? I don't know. That's why I started becoming myself more. I don't know. But my channels before that, like I felt like I wasn't really being myself. Like I was trying to portray like a character or something. But um, then I started to learn that I don't have to do that. I could just... The whole point of YouTube is to be yourself and just say shit you would normally say and like make entertain people in the way you would like entertain your friends basically like that's the whole point of YouTube so that's probably what I learned the most from uh 
Bruce Dew's videos. And yeah, he's definitely a huge inspiration for my channel. Yeah. Uh, Satire said, favorite member from Big Time Rush. Uh, I forgot his fucking name. I think his name was James. Hold on, I gotta look up the Big Time Rush members. I was a big, big time Rush fan. Fuck, what's his name? Big time Rush members. Uh, yeah, James. I don't know why, but uh, James was probably my favorite one. I don't know. I guess. I guess that's it. Unless uh, the girl counts. She was. What's it? The girl who played Quinn. And Zoe 101, she was also a big time rush. Bro, she was hot. She was insanely hot. I don't know what happened between Zoe 101 and Big Time Rush, but there was a big change going on there. And um I think I think a lot of people don't remember that. They, they talk about Big Time Rush, but they don't remember I, I don't remember what her fucking name was in the game in the in the game, in the fucking uh in the show. But whatever. That's that's my answer to the question. It was James. Um, if you could become any character from a TV show or anime, what character would you be and why? Well, I don't really know much about anime, but for a TV show, I would probably want to become Ben 10, probably. That was always like a dream of mine to be Ben 10 or like Beast Boy, just someone who can transform into like animals or monsters or something. I feel like that's the ultimate power. So it'd probably be either Ben 10 or Beast Boy. I like Ben 10 because of the watch and like, his characters have more like abilities because they're like actually like monsters and shit and like aliens. But Beast Boy also is very can come in handy because you can like I always thought about like you can be a rat and like sneak into small places or you can be like a fucking T Rex and tear shit up. So it would be one of those people. Uh, next question, the last question I'm gonna be answering because how long is this going on for? Oh, I've been fucking talking for 48 minutes answering questions. What the fuck? Bro. <laughs> I gotta do questions more often. I didn't realize I was talking this much. I thought I was only... I thought it was like 20 minutes. Fuck. Time flies when you're answering questions. Uh, last question. Yeah, def this is definitely gonna be the last question. If we've been going this long. I gotta eat something. I'm fucking starving. Uh, Crimson90 asked, Magic the Gathering. What are your thoughts? Any experiences with it? It's my favorite game, and I've been playing it since 1997. Uh, I've never played Magic the Gathering. I've played uh, Hearthstone a couple times. I've never really been big into card games like that. Like, I played Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh!, but that's different. Um, but I, I might play Magic... A lot of people have been telling me to play Magic the Gathering, the uh, online game. So I might start with that, so I don't have to, like, pay for cards, because that gets expensive. But, um... I don't know. It seems like a fun game. I definitely want to try it out, and uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll play. Let me look at. Do you have to pay for the Magic the Gathering online game? Hold on. Maybe online. I think it has like another name. Like I know it's called Magic Magic the Gathering Arena. Yeah, I might play the online game, but uh, I have no intention to buy actual cards because I'm not trying to pay for that shit. But uh, it does seem like a fun game. That's my. That's my thought, and I have no experience. I have experience with Hearthstone, but not Magic the Gathering. But uh, maybe I'll start playing it. Maybe I'll start playing some Magic. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, that has been the questions. Thank you guys for asking questions. Um, maybe I'll do another episode. I probably will do another episode where I answer questions. So if you have any questions, let them let them, put them in the comments section down below. Um, maybe I'll make another community post too, but if you have any questions that you can think of right now, just leave them in the comment section. I'll answer them in a future podcast episode. Maybe I'll do it like instead of a whole podcast episode of answering questions, I'll do it like at the end of podcast episodes for like the last 10, 20 minutes or something. But yeah, um, thank you guys for listening. Have a great fucking day. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Bye.